Hello and welcome everyone to Research Hub. Today we present to you another tool which is a website basically named Gapminder. Gapminder was created by Hans Rosling as a lot of you might have heard about him. He was a Swedish physician, an academic, a statistician and a public speaker. He along with Anna Rosling and uh, Ola Rosling uh, created this uh, website and they also wrote a book which is called Factfulness. It's basically to change the misconception about the world today and uh, to show how the world has been changed uh, over a period of time in the health sector or economy or business or basically everything that we see today, uh, providing real life data and showing statistics. Uh, it, it's a very fascinating book, so if you haven't already read about the book, it's highly recommended that you go grab it. It's really worth the time, worth the reading. Now coming back to Gapminder, here we have a lot of tools like Dollar Street, Gapminder Tools and Data. So today we are going to talk about the data. And this is an overall outlook of the website. So if you go in this data, then you can see that uh, there comes a lot of indicators. Indicators like this, which are uh, reliable to assess the situation of a society, the employment rate or the energy consumption, the agricultural situation of a country. And uh, these data are actually provided by reliable sources like World Health Organization, World Bank and uh, Lancet and international labor organizations and uh, so on. So these are actually reliable and resourceful data. And these are categorized and subcategorized like into health or the population, economy, <clears throat> and everything else. So you can choose any category you want to see from. You can download the data, just uh, view it uh, online. Or uh, the most exciting and captivating part of this website is the visualization of data, which we can choose here and uh, <clears throat> and go. So this is the graphical representation which is done by a lot of bubbles. This bubbles indicates all the countries of the world and the size of the bubble indicates the population of the country as it's shown here. So if you choose this big bubble which is United States, so it's a big country and uh, yeah Indonesia like this. And there are the world regions shown in six colors. Um, this is the Americas, this is the Europe, and uh, this is the Sub-Saharan Africa, this is the Asia, and so on. And we have here the countries of the world. Basically, all the countries, if you scroll down there, you can find your desired country. If you want to change the representation of the size of the bubble, you can click here. And you can choose anything to be represented by the size of the bubble. But today, we are fine with the population so we are sticking to it what you can do else is you can expand the view you can zoom it and uh, there are a few options so here in the presentation we have two axes one y and one x and you can choose to show anything in this y axis like i want to see the life expectancy so i'm choosing it in y axis and you can see that uh, the life expectancy is shown in uh, years like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. And we want to see the income. Uh, so it's in uh, x-axis uh, shown in per capita GDP, $250, $500 and so on. So if you want to see the, how the world has changed over time in uh, uh, in reason to income per life expectancy we can see here so if you play the video and play it from uh, the beginning so the time here shows the presentation of the data uh, in the time zone and you can also choose uh, in this scroll bar to play your video very slow medium or very fast so now you can see the bubbles are not still or not in a in one place they are constantly changing showing the world has changed a lot from 1800s and the income has been increasing and life expectancy has been increasing as well as you can see 
this big population which is growing is China. And like this, in 2018, uh, China has uh, income an income of 16k per capita and life expectancy of 76.9 years. So yeah, like this. If you want to see in a specific region, you can choose uh, like the Americas and remove everything else. So here now you have all the countries of this region, the Americas region. There is United States and there is Brazil, um, there is Guyana and Guatemala and Haiti. So if you want to show the changes there, for example, you want to see life expectancy, not life expectancy, you want to see uh, babies per woman depending on the income. Then you can see I'm playing again from the 1800s. How increasing or decreasing in income changes in babies per woman. As you can see, as the income increases, babies per woman decreases. If you follow United States, you can see it. And even the smallest countries, this follows the same rule. Income has been increasing and babies per woman has been decreasing. So this is the situation now. United States, when the income is 54.9k per capita, babies per woman is somewhere 1.9. And so is the rest of the world. Haiti lags behind the most, but still it has improved a lot. So if you want to see about any specific country, for example, if I want to For example, if I want to see about Ethiopia and how it has changed over time. If I want to see child mortality. Now you can uh, choose here to uh, keep or not keep the rest of the countries. Like you can uh, improve increase it and make the countries along with Ethiopia more visible or you can just keep a hinge of those and uh, focus more on Ethiopia the selected country or you can choose to completely not see any countries else and only the selected country that you desire to see so if you do like this now we are seeing how child mortality has improved in case of income Now we will see how child mortality has improved life expectancy over a year. As a lot of you might have known that uh, uh, reduced child mortality increases life expectancy. So here we can see now. Playing from the 1800s. You can always choose to play from any time you want. There is uh, the changing scrolling bar and you can choose the time period you desire. As you can see that the child mortality in Ethiopia has been very high for a very long period of time until uh, somewhere in 1850s when the change has been started noticeably and child mortality started going down significantly and uh, it led to increased life expectancy of that country. So like this. Today, Ethiopia has life expectancy of 66.4 and child mortality of 53.9. You can want to see the trails so that you can keep track of uh, the change, the improvements, like this. You just select the trails, and now you can see uh, connecting dots. So Ethiopia was here in the year 1800s, and improving and increasing life expectancy with decreasing child mortality. So in 2018, Ethiopia is here.
when in, two, uh, in the 1800s it was here, somewhere here and uh, changing from 1956 and 60s when the change has been really noticeable and uh, child mortality has been decreasing from 263 babies per uh, 1000 live birth to nowadays which is 53.9 it still needs to improve a lot but it has improved a lot so that's it for today if you have uh, liked the video don't forget to comment and let us know in the comment section and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to research hub and recommend it to your friends family and colleagues whom you think they might find it helpful and uh, good luck